is Susie Q. Williams, and I uh, teach beginner intro um, pole fitness dance, and I'm also a student at the Los Angeles Film School. What made me start pole dancing? In uh, 2009, um, just uh, one hour and 40 minutes after my 30th birthday, I uh, watched my father, Charles Joseph Williams, take his last breath from cancer. Watching my dad take his last breath um, really changed me. The art form of pole dancing turned my life around and I found this huge pole community around the world through social media that had stories like mine to tell and that, it, that pole dance fitness healed other men and women around the world and then how there's been cultures in different forms of pole dancing throughout history. In pagan times, there were celebrations called Maypole celebrations. I'm sure everybody's heard of that. And people would dance around with ribbons and um, wrapping them around the poles. It was common, it was cele a huge celebration, it was um, sacred. So what we've done now in, in pole fitness, in pole, pole acrobatics, is take it back to that place where it is meant to be a celebration of us. Pole competitions from India involve men who, who do insane work on, on these much thicker poles. They're more like columns, like Doric columns. But it is a male Olympic sport. It has nothing to do with being, being sexy or being sensual. It has only to do with the power. They're doing the same moves. It's all exactly the same. It has nothing to do with being a stripper or being a woman or anything. It's just power. We can look across the ages and look across cultures at, at all the different forms of dance that have to do with this apparatus and see there are ancient forms of dance on a vertical pole. In 2007, I got the chance to actually learn some Chinese pole at Antelope Valley College in uh, Lancaster. I would just, you know, take the strength that I had, uh, the strength and coordination that I had developed as a b-boy and try to do a flag on stop signs and street poles and, you know, street lights and things like that. Every time I get on a pole, I learn new things. Every single time. I, I, I study, I, I do homework, I, I watch videos, I watch pole artists, and I learn. I, I can definitely see that pole fitness is, is evolving in, in a different direction away from the exotic, erotic um, culture. My name is Lori Acosta, and I'm a speech-language pathologist. I had, um, had two children, and we have family Friday pole night. And we have some friends that will come over, bring their kids. And, and it's a, a way that, I mean, it might be unorthodox, a way to spend time with your kids. And it may be an unorthodox way to uh, introduce fitness into your family. But for me it, and, our, and my children, it works. There's something about it that's just, it's just different from anything else you'll ever try. Before I started the pole dancing classes, I was borderline obese, borderline diabetic. I had degenerative arthritis in my neck and my lower back and because of the pole fitness and the yoga it's all gone. For once in my life being 52 years old I actually love myself now inside and out. It's we're by society we're told oh that's a bad girl thing and there's just something about hitting a pole trick there's nothing like it. it is the best thing for self-esteem body image the whole shot I mean it's just wonderful it is touched my life so much, that's why I became a teacher, because I wanted to give that back. If I could touch one person like it touched me, then it's all worth it. My name is Trina Lance, and I'm the president and founder of Heart and Pole Dance and Fitness. We get a lot of people like right out of divorce. Um, I've had a lot of students who are abuse sufferers, domestic violence, incest, rape, um, eating disorders, and you have to kind of get to know each class each woman and each class has its own it's like an organism it has its own life it has its own path so that's the joy of of teaching multiple classes every woman has a pole dancer inside of her regardless of how you view pole dancing we take it in a very theatrical way a very healthy emotional release way but i don't judge however people want to use it but for so many women They've told me 
this has saved them. I'm Lynn Darnton, and this is my husband. I'm Lane Darnton, and we just passed 30, 30 years. years. Yes. We've just been married 30 years. For me, I was 55 when I started this, and I'd been doing yoga. I'd been, you know, I, I, I wasn't a total couch potato. It was so healing for me that I, um, I had always had an adversarial relationship with my body. Her doing pole dancing and doing pole fitness has made a night and day difference in our marriage, no question. You come into, when somebody says pole dancing, you know, they got pictures of some strip club. And that's not what this is. And it takes a while for people to get over, you know, the images and the stereotypes they have and actually see what's going on. I'm a doctor. I'm a entrepreneur slash consultant for a web company. I'm an aerospace engineering consultant for the government. Why do you guys want to stay anonymous and not tell anyone that you do it as a fitness? Why is that? Go ahead. Um, I think it just still has a stigma, unfortunately. Um, I know that certain of my supervisors at work would probably not approve. I'm certain that several of my patients' families would not approve, so it's not something I can really be as public with as, as, as I would like. And do you think by, um, since you're a doctor, do you think it's, for health reasons, do you think it's really helped you in certain things? Most definitely. Um, I think I was sitting at home, doing work all the time. I was probably depressed um, and really kind of finding pole actually got me out of that rut, um, got me more physically active. I'm probably in better shape than I was 15 years ago. By far, this has been the best thing for me, for my health, for my relationships. My name is Fania Dietrich and I teach pole dancing. So I started the world's first school. I started teaching to the everyday women because there were women emailing me saying, I want to learn how to dance for my partner, or I hear this is a great workout. They could get their hands on a pole shortly after 2000, and then from there, it's just been snowballing like crazy. And everyone has heard of pole dancing as a workout now. I mean, you've got to remember there's some small towns around that this is, it's tough to even open up a school. It still has that stigma. Give pole dancing a try. It is such a fun experience. It's definitely going to probably change your life more than you may know. It's interesting. Okay, so here we are in front of the famous Chinese theater and we have some pole dancers. And I just wanted to know what you guys think about pole fitness. Uh, I think it's uh, very, very nice. Would you take a class? I don't know. <laughs> I'd be afraid when I saw this. It um, seems very difficult, but yes, yeah. it's, uh, yes. Yeah. I think it's great. I think it's better than going to the gym. <laughs> uh, my name is Bo. I'm from Bangkok. In my opinion, it's like pole dance we have in Bangkok. And I try one time in the class in California Fitness. It's good. It's hard, but it's good for the body. Can make body like have curve and muscle get stronger and hot too. And what do you think about it as a sport, a mainstream sport? Yeah, that's good rock. It's better than golf. It's not a sport. <laughs> what do you think of pole fitness, pole dancing fitness? Oh, I love it. I, I would have a pole for my girlfriend if I had one. <laughs> Mary Jane dumped me though, because, you know, as Spider-Man, I need to be in good shape. Yeah, and it does keep yeah. you in shape, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, I've never tried it, but like I said, I would own a pole. Pole gave me a, a safe place. I developed an upper level acrobatic program and redeveloped it over time and, and kept growing the program and expanding on it. And now we, we've gotten to a point where we're really doing amazing, amazing work. A country without filmmaking documentarians is like a family without a photo book. And that inspired me even more to tell our story, the pole community's story. You looked at me that day Now you're so far away